Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the symptoms, the presentation, and treatment of heart failure. Heart failure or congestive heart failure is defined as inability of the heart to meet the body requirements. To put it simply, the heart has to pump blood enough for the whole body, but sometimes, because the body is too big or the heart is too weak, the patient develops heart failure. The symptoms and presentation depends on the side of the heart failure. Sometimes a patient might have right-sided heart failure or left-sided. In any case, failure of either side will eventually lead to failure of both sides. The left side of the heart takes blood from the lungs and pushes it into the entire body. And so it needs to be very strong to give a good pulse or push, and that's why it's bigger. If there is left-sided heart failure, the blood will be congested in the lungs because the heart cannot accept or receive blood from the lungs. So the patient presents with shortness of breath, especially at night, and shortness of breath with any exercise. Because the blood is congested in the lungs, it will cause some of the blood to seep into the lungs. And of course, a lot of fluid will also follow the blood into the lungs. So the patient will have fluid in their lungs and that's why they cough and sometimes the fluid is bloody. And of course, this diminishes the function of the lungs because you shouldn't have any fluid there, it's only air. And so we have the shortness of breath. If you listen using the stethoscope, you will hear rails or crackles. They will present initially at the base of the lungs and eventually throughout the lungs. On the other hand, the right side of the heart is responsible of receiving blood from the entire body and pushing this blood into the lungs. So if it fails, the blood will be congested in the entire body and the lungs will not have enough blood going into them. And because the blood is congested in the body, edema will also follow. So the patient has pitting edema in their shins and also pitting edema in the sacral area. And eventually the liver will also be congested. And so we see signs of extended jugular vein. And also because of the liver congestion, we see spleen enlargement. We can do a special test called the hepatojugular reflux. By pressing on the liver, we see that the jugular vein increases in size, and this confirms liver congestion. The treatment goes as follows. If there is a specific cause of the heart failure, like an infection for example, it has to be treated. Sometimes the cause is simply arrhythmia or some toxins. And this is the simplest to treat. By simply reversing the cause, you treat the heart failure. But for most cases, the cause is unknown. And to treat an acute decompensation, where you need to immediately restore the circulation, you give the patient oxygen, make them as relaxed as possible, and you can use some diuretics like furosemide or vasodilators like nitrates, and sometimes you can use a positive oxygen therapy. But the chronic treatment is more complicated and detailed, and the explanation is out of the scope of this video. In any case, that's all I have, and thank you so much for watching.